Who's ready for Monster Jam? Merry Christmas, you guys. Welcome to sign up series number 55. So that is correct, you guys. Uh, this will most likely be like the Christmas special just because, you know, I'm not filming uh, this video on Christmas and whatnot. I got one more video planned after this one and then we'll probably go into the Christmas haul. And then, of course, there'll always be a post-Christmas haul after that. So uh, do have a couple nice festivities here. We have this nice country singer, Nutcracker. Then we also have the, the French guy, so... Yeah, a couple of nice little festivities here, and that's pretty much all that's gonna be, as well as this Christmas tree. So, um, yeah, uh, there are your matchups for round number one. Uh, we're gonna kick it all off with a debuting uh, Blue Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle from Target, taking on the Red Primer Gravedigger. And then we're gonna head on down here. So, we do have a lot of debuting trucks in this event. I don't remember the exact number off the top of my head. And also, if you guys do not remember what truck you're in, make sure to check out the Field of Trucks video because, well, I said your name in there. So, yes, all 66 trucks have been picked. So no surprise entrances at all. And then we're heading down the final row here. And then we're going to end off round number one with the Spectre Flames Monster Mutt taking on the Mopar Dodge Charger RT. So pretty much exact same layout, but this time, of course, we have the, the two Nutcrackers here. So... Uh, let's kick off sign up series number 55 with the blue teenage turtles taking on the mud truck red primer grave digger series 55 is underway and ooh, good start and the wind's gonna go to the blue teenage turtles next up we have the max contrast megalodon taking on the blackout max d and it's gonna go to megalodon Next up, we have the debuting Batman from the five pack, taking on Santa's Monster Slay. And oh, good save by Santa, but that's gonna cost him. Batman takes the win. And since we do have 66 trucks, we'll probably need a couple fast losers. So don't worry, you guys, if you lost in round number one, you might come back. So Blackout Dalmatian taking on the debuting Volkswagen Beetle. And ooh, good race. Um, all right, so this is gonna be straight. Looks like Dalmatian. Yes, it's gonna be Blackout Dalmatian, but hey, good effort by this Volkswagen Beetle. I've been waiting to see how this Hot Wheels monster truck Try to Crush Me is gonna perform. Uh, he's gonna take on Wise Guy, so. Gotta get him centered. There we go. Oh no, down he goes. And it looks like your winner's gonna be Wise Guy. So it looks like Try to Crush Me unfortunately does not perform that well in the sign of series. This is still a very cool truck. Brings me back to the days when I used to have my the Honda three-wheeler. So um, that's pretty cool. We're just going to throw that truck over there. All right, now we have Spectre Flames El Matador taking on debuting Bill Stein Midwest Madness. Oh, El Matador takes out Midwest Madness. The battle of two debuting trucks. We have the Flash taking on the Falcon Jeep. And the Flash takes out the Jeep. We have another debuting truck battle between the 2017 Monster Mount Dalmatian and the Lucas Oil Podium Crusher. And oh, I thought it was Podium Crusher, but he flips and that gives the win to Dalmatian. Next up, we have Skeleton Zombie taking on Anger Management. Ooh, Skeleton Zombie, good win. Next up, we have the debuting Gulf Pure Muscle taking on Purple Jurassic Attack. And Pure Muscle takes out Jurassic Attack. We got ourselves a Hot Wheels monster truck battle between two debuting trucks, the B&M Twin Mill and the Moon Eyes Bone Shaker. Oh, Bone Shaker flips Twin Mill, easy win. We have a former Sign Up Series championship truck in the Mud Trucks Captain's Curse taking on the see-through crew Max D. And ooh, very good race, but Captain's Curse, that championship truck is just a little bit faster. Now here's a Hot Wheels Monster Jam battle between the Mud Trucks Avenger and Nightmare Express. And Avenger takes out the Express. Here's another Hot Wheels Monster Jam battle between Chill Out and the debuting new tool Amsoil Shock Therapy. And oh, I thought it was going to be Chill Out, but no, Shock Therapy barely takes the win. Two more debuting trucks go at it. We have the Black Widow Exhaust Torque Terror and the Five Pack Joker. And, oh, another good race, but Torque Terror takes out the Joker. 
We have the Series 22 Monster Mutt taking on the debuting PPG Dairy Delivery. And oh, dang, Dairy Delivery flips and that gets the win of Monster Mutt. Next up, we have the Series 22 Blackout Toro Loco taking on Surf Monster. And Surf Monster does a wheelie, and unfortunately, Blackout Toro Loco takes the win. Next up, we have the Blackout Higher Education taking on Fire Avenger. Ooh, Higher Education flips and crashes, but doesn't matter, he's still gonna take out Avenger. Next up, we have the debuting G Ready Land Rover taking on Steel Striker. And the Land Rover takes out Steel Striker. He flipped onto his roof, and that's unfortunate. We got ourselves a battle of Series 22, Lumberjack and the Hyperfuel Gravedigger. And Gravedigger takes out Lumberjack. I was about to say Lumberjack. Next up, we have Spike Unleashed taking on the debuting Vipex Superman. And, ooh, great side-by-side -side battle, but Superman just by a tire takes out the dog we have another debut in truck battle between the series one max d and the breambo drag bus oh drag bus flips and that's gonna give the win to max d yep max d next up we have super trucker taking on blackout dragon and super trucker just barely takes out dragon it seems that a lot of trucks in this lane, when they're going down, they like to do wheelies and like flip. Um, I really don't know what's causing that. I think that's just the way that I'm flipping it on this side. So Scarlet Bandit, see-through crew, Gravedigger. And oh, what the heck? That is... Okay, okay. Um, I, I don't know about this. Rogan, give me one sec. I'll let you in, okay? Hang on. What the... What is this? Look, he's like... He's like in the air, same with Gravedigger, he about fell backwards. And going up for the aerial view, gonna go down just barely. Scarlet Bandit just barely takes out Gravedigger. All right, dog, come on. Now what's the sign of serious without you, bud, huh? Okay, hey, and no, 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 not over here, not the Nutcrackers, please. Hey, the, the trucks are trying to race here, okay? Go up there, yeah, go up to your little stand. Okay, your, fr your defending championship truck, 2009 Shocker and the Series 23 Earthshaker. And Shocker takes out Earthshaker. One thing about this dog is that he will literally bark at anything out here. And I mean anything. If it's a leaf falling on the ground, um, some random dog goes by, or like a, like a soccer ball like rolls on by, he will literally growl and bark at it. So yeah, there's your fun fact of the day. Oh, now he's watching it. That's for sure. Rage and Steel takes on the debuting five-pack Wonder Woman. And Rage and Steel flips. Good win there for Wonder Woman. Now we have the Series 23 horsepower taking on the debuting Grey Megarettes. Yes, it does not have a tail. It came like that. And horsepower takes out the Dinosaur. Now we have the Battle of Series 23. And it's between the Nitro Neon's Mystery Machine and the debuting Chase Piece True Heavy Metal El Toro Loco. And, oh, El Toro Loco flips and Mystery Machine with a wheelie win. Next up, we have the Series 22 Grave Digger the Legend taking on the debuting Borla Camaro. And Grave Digger the Legend takes out the Camaro. Next up, we have the Blackout Team Hot Wheels Firestorm taking on Storm Damage. And, oh, no! Oh, okay, thank you, Rogan. Um... That was certainly something. Um, I'm just about to talk. Excuse me for a second. Wait your turn. Team Hot Wheels flipped. It looked like he was going to win, but Storm Damage will block him for the win. Excuse me. Wait your turn, please. Okay, dog. Fine. Go out. Go. No, you were barking at this. Go. Hurry up and make your decision. You going to go out? Hurry up, go out, go, go, get. <sighs> I'm telling you guys, that dog is a nightmare. Okay, now that he's gone, we can finally get back to our no normal scheduled program. So, two debuting Hot Wheels monster trucks, K9 Podium Crusher, and Operation Stomp. And Podium Crusher flips, and Operation Stomp will get the win. We got ourselves a blackout battle between two very popular trucks, El Toro Loco and the one and only Gravedigger, celebrating 41 years. 
And oh, Grave Digger destroys El Toro Loco. In your final race of round number one, it's going to be between the Spectre Flames Monster Mutt and the debuting Mopar Dodge Charger RT. And Dodge Charger RT takes out the dog. But it looks like the Mopar Dodge Charger RT needs an opponent to face. So for the first time in quite some time, we're going to have eight trucks battling out for one spot. So we have Santa's Monster Slay, the Volkswagen Beetle, Moon Eyes Bone Shaker, Lucas Oil Podium Crasher, See Through Crew Max D. Chill out. See Through Crew Grave Digger and the Spectre Flame Spike Unleashed. So, let's kick it all off with these two trucks. The Fast Loser Tournament is underway. And the Volkswagen Beetle takes out Santa. So, sorry, Santa, you won't win the quote unquote Christmas special. We have two O'Reilly trucks duking it out. And Bone Shaker flips again, just like in round number one. And unfortunately for him, Podium Crasher was a lot faster. See through crew, Max D takes on Chill Out. And oh no, Max D flips. My knee was all the way back here. And that's going to give the win to Chill Out. And finally, we have Spike taking on Grave Digger. And another good race, but this time, Spike will win the close race. So who's moving on? It's gonna be the Lucas Oil Podium Crasher. I have no idea what happened to the Beetle. It looks like he was going down, maybe hit this part and then like turn, kind of like that. I don't know, doesn't matter. Podium Crasher takes the win. And the truck joining Podium Crasher is gonna be... Oh, chill out flips and Spike takes him out. And the Fast Loser joining the Mopart Dodge Charger RT in round two is gonna be either one of these guys. Lucas Oil Podium Crusher or Spike Unleashed. And okay, he did not, he did not hit my leg. I'm gonna go up here from the aerial view. Oh my Lord, that is so close. Let's go on down. This is exactly straight, y'all. Just barely gonna be the Lucas Oil Podium Crasher. Give credit to Spike Unleashed. That was one hell of a fast loser race, but sorry, Spike, you're out of the series. So, here are your trucks in round number two. I'm gonna kick it all off with the blue Teenage Turtles taking on the Max Contrast Megalodon. They're gonna head on down here. Still some pretty cool trucks heading into round number two. And then we're gonna be heading down the final row here. And like I said, we're gonna end it all off with the Mopar Dodge Charger RT taking on the Fast Loser Lucas Oil Podium Crasher. So let's kick off round number two with like I said, the blue Teenage Turtle taking on Max Contrast Megalodon. And Megalodon with a very nice comeback win. Next up, we have the debuting Batman from the five pack taking on Blackout Monster by Dalmatian. And oh, good save by Dalmatian. Doesn't matter. Batman sneaks by for the win. We got a Hot Wheels Monster Jam battle between Wise Guy and the Spectre Flames on Matador. And ooh! Wise Guy upsets El Matador. I did not expect that at all. We have another debuting truck battle between The Flash and the 2017 Dalmatian. And nice somersault by The Flash, and that's gonna help him take out Dalmatian. Next up, we have Skeleton Zombie taking on the debuting Gulf Pure Muscle. And it looks like Skeleton Zombie, and it is. Skeleton Zombie takes out Gulf Pure Muscle. We have the debuting B&M Twin Mill taking on a former sign-up series championship truck. Not last sign-up series, that belongs to the 2009 Shocker. I believe this truck won in sign-up series 48 and I believe Grave Digger was driving it. I could be wrong though, but oh no, he gets eliminated by the B&M Twin Mill. Another Hot Wheels Monster Jam battle between the Mud Trucks Avenger and the new tool Amsoil Shock Therapy. And Avenger flips and that's gonna give the win to Shock Therapy. Debuting Black Widow Exhaust Torque Terror taking on Series 22 Monster Mutt. And it looks like it's gonna be Monster Mutt. Next up we have the Series 22 Black El Toro Loco taking on Blackout Higher Education. And El Toro Loco takes out Higher Education. Yep, another truck does a wheelie. We have the debuting G-Ready Land Rover taking on Hyperfield Grave Digger. And, oh wow, another ra a good race. My knee was all the way back here. They did not hit me. The G-Ready Land Rover looked like he, like, got into the lane of Gravedigger and, like, flipped him over. And, uh, he'll get the win. 
Yet again, another debuting truck battle between the five pack Superman and the Series 1 Max D. And Superman flips, that gives the win to Max D. We have a metal based battle between Super Trucker and Scarlet Bandit. And another very good race, but Scarlet Bandit takes out Super Trucker. Now here's your former sign up series championship truck, 2009 Shocker, taking on the debuting Wonder Woman. And Shocker is picking up pace. You better watch out for this truck. Another battle between two Series 23 trucks, Horsepower and the Nitro Neon's Mystery Machine. And Horsepower takes out Mystery Machine. Hey, that's the second time that Mystery Machine did a wheelie. Hmm, I'm seeing a pattern. Now here's another battle between two Series 22 trucks, Grave Digger the Legend and Storm Damage. And it's gonna be Storm Damage. We have the debuting Operation Stomp taking on the Blackout Grave Digger. And oh, it looks like they collided with Storm Damage, but the win's gonna go to Grave Digger though. I have decided to move Storm Damage up there, so hopefully there will be no more collisions over here. But anyways, Final race of round number two, and that's going to be between the Mopar Dodge Charger RT and the Fast Loser Lucas Oil Podium Crusher. Did I forget to mention that these are two debuting trucks? And the Mopar Dodge Charger RT takes out a Fast Loser. Uh-oh, looks like the Mopar Dodge Charger RT needs another Fast Loser to face. How about the Blackout Monster Mount Dalmatian, Hyperfuel Gravedigger, Operation Stomp, and Super Trucker? I think that's pretty fair, right? And by the way, for all of these Fast Loser races, I always go back to see who lost in round number two. And whoever had the best run or like the closest run to almost winning, uh, they're competing in this event or the Fast Loser tournament. So that's why these two and, you know, those two are competing in it. So, uh, yeah, uh, here we go. And Gravedigger takes out Dalmatian. In the final matchup of the Fast Loser tournament, it's going to be between Super Trucker and the debuting Operation Stomp. And Operation Stomp will take out Super Trucker. I'll give him some credit. You didn't, you didn't do that bad, Super Trucker. Nice job. Operation Stomp is moving on. And your fast loser joining the Mopar Dodge Charger RT is going to be either one of these trucks. But who's it going to be? And apparently it's going to be the Hyperfield Gravedigger. I saw him get over in Operation Stomp's lane, and that's completely fine. But if they fell off the side, I mean, I shouldn't really have counted the race um, wh whoever hit... Uh, I shouldn't have counted the Blackout Gravedigger and Operation Stomp race when they hit Storm Damage, but whatever. Uh, this is fair game, so your fast loser is going to be the Hyperfuel Gravedigger. Alright, so here are the trucks heading into round number three. I'm going to kick it all off with Max Contrast Megalodon taking on the debuting Batman from the 5-pack that we're going to head on down here. I mean, I'm still kind of seeing a pattern. I mean, let's see. Debuting, 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 debuting. I mean, there's still some debuting trucks in here. We could have a new champion. Who knows? I mean, we could have a new championship truck if Shocker loses, but... Yeah, we're going to end off round number three with the Mopar Dodge Charger RT to get on another fast loser, the Hyperfuel Gravedigger. So, without further ado, let's jump right into round number three with the Max Contrast Megalodon in the debuting Batman from the five pack. And Batman's gonna take out Megalodon. Next up we have Wise Guy taking on the debuting Flash. And oh, I thought it was gonna be Wise Guy, but no, the Flash barely sneaks by, but hey, I'll give credit to this truck. This truck didn't do that bad, but the Flash takes out Wise Guy. Next up we have the Skeleton Zombie taking on the debuting B&M Twin Mill. And Twin Mill's gonna take out Skeleton Zombie. Next up, we have the debuting new tool Amsoil Shock Therapy taking on the Series 22 Monster Mutt. And I mean, just like the Hyperfuel Gravedigger, looks like Shock Therapy got over into Monster Mutt's lane. And I mean, he'll block Monster Mutt for the win. Next up, we have the Series 22 Black El Toro Loco taking on the debuting G Ready Land Rover. And Land Rover crashes to victory. I had to let this dog in because yet again, off camera, he was scratching at the door. I was gonna say, if you didn't move, bud, you're, you're, I mean, you're a part of the track, so whatever. We had the debut in Series 1 Max D taking on Scarlet Bandit. And Max D is gonna take out Scarlet Bandit. Can Horsepower pull off the upset? 
Or will we still have a chance to have a back-to-back -back championship truck? Who knows? Never mind, Horsepower just did it. So it looks like we're gonna have a new championship truck. So Shocker has been eliminated by Horsepower. Next up, we have Storm Damage from Series 22 taking on the Blackout Gravedigger. And Gravedigger takes out Storm Damage. Please don't, please don't bang at that. What the heck are you doing? Don't, don't you do it. Rogan, don't do it. And your final race of round number three is going to be between the Mopar Dodge Charger RT and another fast loser, the Hyperfuel Gravedigger. And, oh, what a good race. And it looks like Gravedigger is going to take out the Mopar Dodge Charger RT. He's still standing at the door, by the way. Excuse me. What did I just tell you? I said not to do that, dog. Don't do it, please. Well, won't you look at that? Looks like the Hyperfuel Gravedigger needs someone to face in round number four. How about Skeleton Zombie, Wise Guy, Series 23, Monster Mutt, sorry, Series 22, Monster Mutt, and the Mopar Dodge Charger RT. I like these four. First matchup of the third Fast Loser Tournament. And Wise Guy upset Skeleton Zombie. How about that? Final matchup is the Series 22 Monster Mutt and the Mopar Dodge Charger RT. And Dodge Charger RT takes out Monster Mutt. And your Fast Loser joining Hyperfuel Gravedigger in round number four is gonna be... Mopar Dodge Charger RT. Wise Guy came so close, but unfortunately, that truck is just too dang fast. Alrighty, you guys, so here are your trucks in round number four. I'm gonna kick it all off with a superhero battle, so that's pretty cool. And then it's gonna be a rematch between the Hyperfuel Grave Digger and the Mopar Dodge Charger RT. And judging by my calculations, we're gonna have another Fast Loser tournament. Yay! Alright, so here we are. Let's kick it all off with Batman taking on the Flash. Who's better? Apparently, it's gonna be Batman. We have another debuting truck battle between the B&M Twin Mill and the new tool Amsoil Shock Therapy. And just barely the win's gonna go to Twin Mill, so hey, good effort by the Shock Therapy. Yet again, another debuting truck battle between the G-Ready Land Rover and the Series 1 Max-D. And Land Rover flips and that gives the win to Max-D. Next up we have the Series 23 Horsepower taking on Blackout Gravedigger. And Horsepower is going to take out Gravedigger. And your final race of round number four is going to be a fast loser battle between the Hyperfuel Gravedigger and the Mopar Dodge Charger RT. So this is their second meeting now. Gravedigger won the first one. Can Dodge Charger have his, uh, have his name in that and win the second one? No, it's going to be the Hyperfuel Gravedigger. So unfortunately, I would have the Mopar Dodge Charger RT as a fast loser since he like finished like that. But since he already won the Fast Loser Tournament, he won't be competing in this one. So sorry, man, you came very close. I mean, they're both they're both green and purple trucks. You see that? So, hey, it was a good race. So we're gonna need an even three trucks to even the playing field out. So after this, guys, no more Fast Losers. So number one will be the Flash. So he'll take on Hyperfuel Gravedigger. Then we have the new tool and Soil Shock Therapy. And rounding it out, we have the G-Ready Land Rover. So that's going to be it, you guys. So here are your trucks moving into the quarterfinals. We're going to kick it all off with the debuting Batman taking on the debuting B&M Twin Mill. Then we have the Series 1 Max D in his debut taking on the Series 23 Horsepower. Uh, the Fast Loser Hyperfuel Gravedigger taking on the debuting Flash. And rounding it out, we have a debuting truck battle between the Neutral Amsoil Shock Therapy and the G-Ready Land Rover. So... Let's kick it all off with Batman and the b and Twin Mill. And it's gonna be Twin Mill. That truck has been borderline unstoppable this entire event. Next up, we have the debuting Series 1 Max-D taking on the Series 23 Horsepower. And it's gonna be Max-D. Looks like he stopped horsepower in his tracks. You know what I just realized? We could have a debuting truck semi-final. This is the only not debuting truck that Hyperfield Gravedigger, so if he wins, there's still a chance that a non-debuting truck will win, but if the Flash wins, 
We're gonna have a debuting truck semifinal, so. Interesting, interesting. And it is gonna be the Flash. So unfortunately for Gravedigger, um, we will not have a non-debuting truck win. So the Flash moves on into that final spot. So like I said, we're gonna have a debuting truck semifinal. That's pretty cool. And rounding out the quarterfinals is gonna be a debuting truck battle between the new tool Amsoil Shock Therapy and the G-Ready Land Rover. And Shock Therapy flips, that gives the win to the G-Ready Land Rover. Alrighty, you guys, so here we are in the semifinals. So let's say some names. Inside of the B and M Twin Mill, we have Chantel Duwell, who is a former Sign of Series champion. Inside of the debuting Series 1 Max D, we have Top G. Inside of the debuting Flash, we have Mac Bullock Mac. He is another former Sign of Series champion. And rounding it out is going to be MJ Fan 2017 and the G Ready Land Rover. I believe. MJ Fan 2017 has won before, maybe, could be wrong, but I don't know, I think, he, I think he's won. So, like I said, we do have four debuting trucks, which means we are going to have a debuting truck winner. We have two Hot Wheels Monster trucks, and we have two Spin Master trucks. So, unfortunately, Mutual Amsoil Shock Therapy was the last Hot Wheels Monster Jam truck. So, hey, that sucks, but you know what? He did a good job, and that'll be the only sign of series appearance you'll, you'll see from this truck. So... Um, I'm gonna move the paper out of the way. I'm just gonna throw that up there. So it's time to kick off the semifinals. And first up, it is Chantel Dubois taking on Top G. And ooh, very good race. Going up from the aerial view, it is gonna be Chantel Dubois and the BM Twin Mill. So sorry to Top G in the debut in Series 1 Max D. I did not expect this truck to make it this far, but hey. You did very well, my friend, very well. Um, I believe this is your first time sign up, signing up for my series, but hey, nice job. Making it to the semifinals is an accomplishment, but Chantel Dubois brings the b and Twin Mill into another championship race. So who's gonna join Chantel Dubois in the championship race? Is it gonna be MJ Fan 2017 in the debuting G-Ready Land Rover, or Mac Bulldog Mac in the debuting Flash from the five pack? It's gonna be Mac Bulldog Mac in the debuting Flash. So sorry to MJ Fan 2017 in the debuting G Ready Land Rover. This is a very nice truck. Um, I love the O'Reilly uh, trucks from Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. They look really cool. So hey, this truck made it pretty far. So nice job, man. Making it to the semifinals is an accomplishment. So make it that one step further, and I know you'll probably get your second win on my channel if I'm not mistaken. So Mac Bulldog Mac brings the Flash into another championship race. So in the championship race of Monster Jam Sign-Up Series number 55, inside of the debuting b and Twin Mill, we have Chantel Dubois. And inside of the debuting Flash from the five pack, we have Mac Bulldog Mac. So uh, like I said with both of these guys, they are both former Sign-Up Series champions. Chantel Dubois won the Hot Wheels Monster Truck Edition and that was Hooligan. So, hey, Chantel's in another Hot Wheels monster truck. I mean, do I do you see a pattern here? And then Mac Bulldog Mac, who I believe is a three-time champion. He is looking for his fourth win on my channel. So that's pretty impressive. And I'm looking at both of these trucks and I'm thinking, hmm, could this be the New England Patriots taking on the Kansas City Chiefs? Who knows? But before we go into the championship race, a word from our sponsor. It's the thirst, thirstiest time of the year. Hey. Yeah. I have just one query. Want a Sprite Cranberry? Uh -huh. The answer is clear. It's the thirst, thirstiest time of the year. Sprite, let's go. Thank you so much to Sprite Cranberry for sponsoring this video. Remember, it is the thirstiest time of the year, and I can use the Sprite Cranberry right about now. Okay, disregarding that, here we are in the championship race of sign-up series number 55. We have Mac Bulldog Mac in the debuting Flash from the five pack, taking on Chantel Dubois in the debuting b and Twin Mill. So, uh, Mac Bulldog Mac is a three-time champion looking for his fourth win on my channel, and Chantel Dubois is a one-time champion looking for her second win on my channel. So. 
Uh, both of these trucks have been borderline unstoppable the entire sign-up series. The BM Twin Mill has just been going the farthest of the night, and the Flash has been super consistent, and consistency is the key to my sign-up series, pretty much. So, who wants more? Is it going to be the Flash, or is it going to be the BM Twin Mill? Your winner of Monster Jam sign-up series number 55 belongs to... Mac Bulldog Mac in the debuting Flash has eliminated the BM Twin Mill. And Mac Bulldog Mac is the winner. Congratulations, man. You are now a four time champion on my channel, which I believe four wins is the most. So, congratulations, Riley. You completely deserved it. And uh, the debuting The Flash <laughs> from the five pack. Mac Bulldog Mac is in The Flash. So, there you go. Um, I want to say so sorry to Chantel Dubois in the debuting BM Twin Mill. Um, you did so good, so good. The, I, I, I mean, personally, I really thought the BM Twin Mill was gonna pull it off, but when you crashed, it was all over. But hey, second place is nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, just make it that one step further, and I know you will definitely get your second win on my channel sometime in the near future. So that was Sign Up Series 55, you guys. We got ourselves a four-time champion in Mac Bulldog Mac, and he did it in the Kansas City Chiefs truck. Woohoo! Yeah, that, that is awesome. So, make sure to crush that like button. If you guys like this video, why not consider subscribing? It is 100% free. You guys can always undo it. We are on the road to 900 subscribers right now. And also, you guys can follow me on Instagram at MonsterJamFan0311. You guys get exclusive content on something I'm going to post, and you get to reserve trucks for Monster Jam sign-up series and points competitions. It is always worth it, you guys, but I don't force you guys to. The link for my Instagram is always down in my description. I highly encourage you guys to check out my description. I do post some key information in there from time to time. So, one last congratulations to Mac Bulldog Mac in the debuting Flash. Um, man, this truck has just been super consistent. And like I said, consistency is the key. So, congratulations, Riley. Four-time champion pretty good pretty good if i do say so myself so that is it y'all so this is monster jam fan 0311 signing out <laughs>